Are you the next Pinoy vlog star? Welcome to the home of Vlogstar TV, where Pinoy vloggers shine! I am Alexa Tinsay and I will be your host for the first online reality show that aims to discover the best and the brightest Pinoy vloggers. Dito man sa Pinas, o saan man sa mundo. Alright, we are now in our second challenge. Now, this second challenge requires our vloggers to create a 3-minute video about anything interesting within where they live. So, let's take a look once again with our panel of judges who will review their work. I'm a singer actress from Viva Entertainment and I will be one of the judges here at Boxer TV. si Johnny Bertis. Ang palaya ko po is Lloyd. Panganay sa apat na magkakapatid, si John Lloyd ang siyang tumatayong ama at ina sa kanila sa kabila ng kanyang kapansanan. Simula pa nung isinilang siya ay meron siyang polio. Ngunit hindi ito naging headlang sa kanya upang lumaban at magpatuloy sa buhay. Kahit ganito po ako, pangarap din po ako sa buhay. Ang pangarap ko po sa buhay ay maging isang teacher. Mula nung elementary ay naglalakad ng papasok si John Lloyd. At dito, sa tulay na ito niya binabagtas ang daan mula sa kanilang bahay patungo sa kabilang bayan kung saan naroon ang kanyang paaralan. Dito sa munting tahanang ito nakatira si na John Lloyd. At si Lola Fina ang siyang naging tagapag-alaga at tagapag-aruga nila simula noong naghiwalay ang kanilang mga magulang. Sa kabila ng kapansanan ni John Lloyd ay hindi naman niya ipinagdamot ang kabutihan ng kanyang loob. Maayos nang nagagampanan ang lahat ng kanyang mga tungkulin bilang nakatatandang kapatid at palaging kusang loob niyang ginagawa ang kanyang mga gawaing bahay. Sa ngayon, natutustusan niya ang pangangailangan ng kanyang pamilya sa pamamagitan ng pag-online selling. Ngunit, sa kabila nito ay hindi pa rin mawawala ang mga taong pilis siyang hinahama. Ano ba dyan, Lloyd? Ano yun yung pa? Paminsan po, ano, nagdaramdam na po ako. Bakit ako magpapa-apekto sa kanila? Dahil dito, mas lalo siyang nananampalataya sa Diyos at patuloy na nananalangin na mas pagtibayin pa ang kanyang loob upang harapin ang kanyang mga pagsubok sa buhay. Laban lang hanggang kaya. Si John Lloyd ay isa lamang sa mga kabataang puno ng pag-asa. At dito sa tulay na ito, ay isang hangarin na naway minsan aahon sila at babangon upang tuparin ang mga minimithing pangarap. The shots and uh, the story is good, but uh, the narration uh, was overpowered by the background music. Sayang uh, kasi could have been more uh, or much better. Uh, be careful lang next time when you're putting things together. So, uh, the video. And ayun, good luck and uh, sana mas may improvement pa yung next video. Hi, TJ Cole. Um, tulay ng pag-asa. So, I just watched that video. I'm very inspired. I'm very touched. Um, looking at your video. Uh, 
you have all the elements of an inspiring video. First, of course, yung topic mo kasi is about Loy. Wow, I'm, I'm actually amazed and I, I thought very well of the lesson even though even though he has that disability, he wasn't able, he didn't hin it, he didn't allow that to be a hinder in doing his everyday job, in his everyday living, diba? Right? So, that's the message that you're trying to uh, send us as our audience. And I think through your storytelling, you're able to tell us that. Um, it's I just find it very common, um, nothing very special. Although you have a very very good speaking skills, storytelling skills. Um, perhaps I'm gonna suggest na lang in the future to do more of that. Siguro I um, just improve your video, but at the moment, be bilang isang vlog, it's it's very good already. I was able to uh, follow it through. Um, if it's it's a real story, so. Perhaps, maybe what you can do lang in the future, though you already have it. it. Siguro, um, how you can heighten the um, in, in storytelling, in narrating. Not that you're not being authentic, but um, maybe find out something else about Lloyd that heightens his um, his story. What perhaps has been his most struggle. Uh, para hindi lang siya monotonous. Kasi, like, we as viewers, um, we've heard so many stories already. But what would be, you think, sorry lang yung key point doon, what do you think would be something different from telling a story of Lloyd other than those who have also disability and trying to make it in, you know, in, in life? Diba? But so far, good job. And continue doing your vlog. Continue inspiring people, alright? Laura Rosales at ikinagagalak kong ibahagi ang ganda na meron ng aming lugar, ang Marikina. Lungsod ng Marikina, kilala bilang sentro o kabisera ng sapatos sa Pilipinas. Isang lungsod at bayan na bumubuo sa kalakhang Maynila. Ito ang aming ipinagmamalaki sa aming lugar. Museo ng Sapatos, Simbahang Katoliko, at Pampublikong Pamilihan. 
Ay, ganda nga naman talaga pagmasdan. Ang mahal naming lungsod ng Marikina. May mga pinagdaanan mang trahedya, maraming beses man binaha, ngunit patuloy na bawang. Sama-sama at walang iwan ng ahon, patungo sa bagong pag-asa na dadalhin ng kada umaga. dumaran ang aming lugar ang ating bansa sa isang krisis. Itong krisis na ito ay isang kalaban na hindi nakikita. Maraming buhay ang nawawala, maraming membro ng pamilya ang nakakalasan. Ngunit sa kabila ng pinagdadaanan, merong Diyos na alalay. Kaya sa kabila ng nangyayari sa ating bansa, lalong-lalo na dito sa aming lugar, kama-sama tayong babangon at aahon. Muli, ako si Laura Rosales at proud akong irepresenta sa inyo ang napakaganda naming lugar, ang Marikina. Um, okay, it's a good introduction. Uh, Marikina is one of my favorite places in uh, NCR, uh, and also you, you, well, you mentioned uh, different places uh, in Marikina or within Marikina, uh, and I hope you shared more information or details about them, para mas makapture mo yung uh, audience mo. But overall, it was a good video and um, good luck and uh, see you. Hi, Laura! So, we have the same last name, Laura Rosales. Oh, diba? Gaganda na mga Rosales. <laughs> Alright, so, um, with your vlog, um, natuwa naman ako. I looked at the minutes. It's only two minutes. And I thought you are able to uh, shrink in everything substantial about Marikina um, you have a good voice um, a very lively yung voice mo energetic so yung when, when I was listening to it na ano na uh, nata transfer mo yung energy mo sa akin and um, natutuwa akong panoorin siya and hindi siya uh, hindi siya boring kasi Tuloy-tuloy yung ano mo, maganda yung rhythm mo, yung ginamit mo rin na music. It's so vloggish, it doesn't have, doesn't have to be so, you know, full prod and all that. Pero in that two minute again, you're able to talk about Marikina, na insert mo rin yung, yung naging problema and all that with all the visuals. I think you have, um, you have a skill and develop it more. Do some more, okay? All right.
ไว้นะฮัลโหลทุกคนฉันคือเฮลิสิสลาวอาริยาณ์ฟูร์ชอร์ตและทุกคนจะแชร์กันสิ่งที่ฉันประสบการณ์ของฉันเป็นคนแรกของบล็อกเกอร์And guys, alam nyo na talagang mahirap mag-vlog. Lalo na talagang mag-iisip ka ng unique na content, mag-iisip ka ng sarili mong video. Tsaka, guys, talagang mahirap kasi... Ayan, <laughs> kung maririnig nyo, may mga asong nagkakahula, may dumadaan, may, kaya may tricycle na dumadaan dyan, may sasakyan, may motor. Ayan, talagang mahirap mag-vlog. Yan, sorry sa noise ha, kasi talagang <laughs> yung mga aso nagkakahulan. Uy, kuya! <laughs> Ayan, so guys, isa din yan. Oh, habang nagre-record ako. Kasi, oh, lang guys, gusto ko lang yung electric fan. Init kasi. Ayan, pakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung mini fan ko. Ayan. Okay, it's more fun in the Philippines. Ang inan. Sige. Ayan. So guys, um, lagi nyo tatandaan, huwag kayong susuko, laban lang. Try and try lang. At saka, huwag nyo isipin na kung paano dumami yung viewers nyo, likers, shares, subscribers, or kung paano kayo kumita. Huwag nyo isipin yun. Ang isipin nyo lang is, mahalin nyo yung passion ninyo. Tsaka, maging positibo kayo sa lahat. Tsaka, ayan, kailangan maging contento kayo kung ano yung meron kayo. Ayan. Parang ako lang yan, kasi pag nagbablog ako, ayan, gamit ko lang yung phone ng mama ko, kung san-san ko lang ilalapag, makapag-video lang ako, or makapag-vlog lang ako. Ayan. So, guys, Huwag kayo susuko. <laughs> Sorry. Ayan, talagang mahirap. Ayan, talagang mahirap mag-vlog. Kailangan maghahanap ka din ng magandang view or maayos na lugar or place. Ayan. Tsaka guys, oops. <laughs> Tsaka guys, lagi nyo din tatandaan, hindi lang kayo basta nag-vlog. Kailangan maging presentable din kayo sa lahat. At saka, yun, kailangan maging effort din kayo. So, yun. And, guys, mahalin nyo lang talaga yung passion ninyo. Huwag kayong susuko. Laban lang. Okay, um, I like the fighting spirit. Um, I understand the struggles. Uh, but I hope you wouldn't focus on uh, that so much. Uh, sana next time, uh, on your next video, makita ko yung mas, uh, um, masayang personality. Maybe you would uh, add or use some uh, graphics and images para mas makita natin yung creative side mo. And, uh, yun, uh, good luck. And see you on your next video. Hi, Hayana. I hope that I pronounce your name right, Hayana. That's what I saw in your, in the description. Um, but yes. Wait, hold on a second. No vlog, oh, di ba? Very natural. Then I think that's one thing that um I like about your vlog. It's very raw. It's so you, and it's so you and your age group. Um, I think many, katulad niyan, may nagpiprito sa labas, di ba? So, naririnig niyo yung ingay. Um, I like, I like how you put it that way na, um, I, I won't compare this to any other vlogs na may so much editing and all that. I like, when it comes to vlogging kasi, like I said, it has to be, for me, it should be less is more. And it should be organic. So I think with all the resources that you have, um, expressing yourself, your creativity, you have that with um, with the amount of the talent, the amount of again the resources, or just being you, 
you know, having your mom's phone lang and you're able to talk about it in a general term. Siguro, if you were, say, I guess you're, uh, you look very young. I, I can't tell your age, siguro, mga 15 or less or 10 or less. So, I think makaka-relate yung age group mo in the kind of vlog that you do. So, for me, it's a thumbs up. Although, perhaps in the future, of course, if you know, if someone can edit it, I think it would have more ingredients kung may mga text siya and all that. But if you cannot do that yet at this point, um, you, you know how to uh, present yourself. You know how to express yourself. And again, I think... Um, someone once told me that a vlog is an expression of your creativity. It's just an expression of who you are, of of what you do. It's um, another venue for you to to express your kung ano yung nararamdaman mo at that moment. And on that simple vlog, you're able to uh, show that to us. And I enjoyed it. Okay? Do some more, okay, baby? Alright, bye. <music>
everything was smooth i was inspired i was able to share i was able to sing my a million stream song for them we even had prayer before and after the, the when i was teaching the vlogging session and that's what i really want to share for this challenge number two for vlog star tv challenge is just worship the lord when you have a problem because you the problem goes to the problem solver you know we we shift our eyes from our problems to the problem solver so I <laughs> Stars. Thank you so much guys and this is my second challenge submission for Vlogstar TV. Continue to worship the Lord and you will be able to overcome by focusing your eyes on Him. nice to know that you are using your skills to help other people. Um, I like the graphics and uh, your message. Uh, however, uh, the transition and how you cut your uh, videos, it was a bit messy. Uh, it feels like you didn't put much uh, effort or uh, thought about the challenge but your skills are there uh, siguro uh, on your next video mas makita pa to and uh, good luck and thank you Alright, so I just finished watching David's video and um, kilala ko kasi si David eh. So, um, I uh, bilang nag-review ngayon ng video, I have to uh, separate myself from knowing him um, kind of personally. Ganun ako sa siya. Nakasama ko siya before in, um, in uh, some of the vlogs. And um, David has a great attitude when it comes to event. He has that energy always, and I like your energy in um, in your desire in praising the Lord. And obviously, it's seen in your video. Um, I like your 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 editing skills. Your um, your 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 appearance on your vlog. I think you've got everything of being a good vlogger. Um, I guess perhaps what you can improve lang is how you can present it very well, well thought and um, with a composed thought to your viewers. Uh, I like your topic because you know I also I I personally um, wanted to do something. That glorifies the Lord as well, and I've started that on my some of my videos also. But um, when you do a vlog, um, I think it's a very helpful to your audience to receive a good message, and that's the point now of doing a vlog, de ba? When you do something, when you when you um, when you vlog or when you make a movie, um, there is a message that you wanted to give out. But when you give out a message or you know when you watch a movie it has to be coherent it has to be translated in a way na ma-accept ng, ng audience perhaps the way you would like them to receive it um, have them glorify the Lord siguro medyo distracting lang to me yung may mga ano sobrang yung sobrang may mga ano lang may mga um much what do you call that mga effects effects um just give us something simple i'm a big fan of less is more um kahit you're just you know telling a story very plain and 
you share the testimony, perhaps you start it with your testimony. Ano yung nagawa sa'yo ng Panginoon? Um, ano yung specific topic in your life na you'd like to glorify the Lord? Um, na makakarelate kami. Meron ba sa buhay mo may struggle ka ba? Um, ano yung struggle na yun? Um, did you fail on something? Did someone hurt you? And from that, kuha ka ng hugot. You start talking about it and um, find a song that fits that well. I think even in that small talk lang, kahit walang mga kung ano-ano mga nangyayari, um, you can attract the audience. And that way also, maintindihan ng audience what you'd like them to um, to know about you, to what message. Kasi yun talaga yung whole point. Ano yung message mo? Otherwise, you'll just be, you'll just be a noise. Diba? So, um, and personally, I think you have all that skills to make that whole vlog or perhaps a film-like story or vlog um, so that your audience can get a wonderful message and can glorify the Lord. So, yes, for now, that's it. And I'm looking forward you inserting that in your future vlogs. All right? Good luck, David! Thank you.